Okay, you guys see it. I'm doing a brake fluid flush. 2019 Hyundai Ioniq Blue. And this procedure, I'm using the Aries power bleeder and also the Aries adapter. It's a 35 millimeter adapter. It's made for it. I highly recommend it. Uh, it's better than the universal ones. It fits securely. It has uh, fittings. No leaks. Um, I'm charged up right now to 25 PSI. Uh, it's a good machine, good unit. And this is not the procedure when you have air in a system. Uh, let's say if you had change a caliper or something like that. All I'm doing is a flush. Afterwards, I'll do a brake fluid uh, recirculation mode with the GDS, but it's not necessary if you don't introduce air and that's what this system is made to do i'm just going to do it as insurance okay so i filled my reservoir with dot4 i hooked up i pressurized the system and i'm going to install this catch can to each so each wheel cylinder i'm going to go around and uh flush out the old stuff I added a little fluid because this hose goes reaches down in there. In the event you're doing on um, the old school pump and bleed, if you close it too late, this will keep air from entering the system. Uh, it's not even necessary because I'm just going out. I'm pressurizing. I'm going to be filling that bottle with the fluid. So I'm going to go back to my right rear left rear right front left front keeping an eye on the level making sure this reservoir stays full which it should i have two quarts of fluid in there so that's plenty and that is the brake fluid flush okay this is what the setup looks like at the wheel i have my catch can there i just have it supported uh, actually this can came with the bleeder that I bought. I have a 10 millimeter wrench. I have the catch can hooked up to the bleeder nipple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this and watch this tube right there. And watch the fluid flow through. Open it a quarter turn. And that line right there is going to raise. So I'm going to let this run probably till it gets up one line. That should bleed the entire line because this is the diameter of the brake line. It's very thin. It doesn't take a whole lot of fluid. I mean, I have two quarts of brake fluid, so maybe I'll just go two lines up. And that's like a, a little excessive, but hey, um, once I open that can, I'm not reusing that brake fluid. Um, whatever's left over, I'm just gonna throw it out. Because once the can is open, it's susceptible to absorbing moisture. I'm just gonna do this on all wheels. Um, right rear, left rear, right front, left front. And then uh, that'll wrap it up. So there it is. I went up two lines. What I'm gonna do is now, I close the screw, just pop this off. reinstall the little cap that goes there so this is the longest line on the car so it has the most fluid in it um, towards the front you don't have to take out as much I mean I'm, I'm going excessively too much on the fluid I want to make sure I get it all out but that's it now I'm gonna just get this off of here put my wheel back on and go on to the next wheel technically you don't even have to remove the wheel um, you can get it right from this angle you know if you want to get in there with a wrench i'm doing it because i'm taking a look at the brakes uh i had the original brakes almost seventy thousand miles and plenty 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 of brake pad left um over half so everything's good here and as you're doing this what you just want to do is keep an eye on the fluid level and the pressure. 
brush is good. Fluid level's good. No leaks. And that's the procedure to do a flush on the brakes. And the conditions are car on. You can put your emergency brake on. And just be careful of the brake fluid. Uh, it's very caustic. Don't get it in your eyes. Uh, you know, wear gloves. Don't get it on your paint. Take care. So after the first wheel, I'm doing the rest of them with the wheels left on the car. So this is what it looks like. I'm hooked up. I'm gonna open the bleeder. Quarter turn. Fluid's coming out, no air. Right into the bottle. This is the, uh, the second bottle. I emptied it one time. So I definitely got everything out of there. It's slow, but uh, it works. Just don't run out of fluid in the uh, pressure bleeder. Keep the pressure up. I pumped it up to 30 pounds. Um, Hyundai actually recommends you can go up to 50. I, I kept it up to 30 and uh, having good results. Like I said, it takes a little time. Uh, but the whole job, once you know what you're doing, you could do it within half hour. You know, it's 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 all preparation and setup. All right. Uh, take care. Be safe.